Hey YouTubers, as you know by now I'm a big fan of the Honda Ridgeline. This is my second one. I had a 2012 Ridgeline and it had cup holders with little foam fingers around the edges so that whenever you put something in there it would stay nice and tight. And although the little foam fingers would eventually break and you'd have to replace them, it still was a pretty good solution. If you put in a 12 ounce can it held it tight, a 48 ounce big gulp it held it tight. Well, on the Generation 2, they just gave us round cup holders with nothing to retain your beverage. And so you either have to put up with it rattling around, or uh, if you go around a roundabout just a little too quick, you have to worry about things tipping over. And I thought about going to the junkyard and getting a cup holder out of another vehicle, ones that have little spring-loaded clips on them and trying to... Uh, hack this up and, and put some clips on this, but I think I found something. After spending hours on Amazon and on AliExpress, I found these. Little self-adhesive spring-loaded clips designed to tighten up a cup holder. And I'll put a link to them in the description down below, but they just came in today and I couldn't be more excited. So you can order these as a single pack or a double pack. Since I got two cup holders, I went ahead and ordered two. And this is what you get. There are three little spring-loaded levers here with self-adhesive backing. And you'll notice these are flat. And the cup holder on the ridge line is rounded. And so I see these little grooves here on the side. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to bend these in a little bit so they might fit a little bit better. Try and get as much of its adhesive to make contact with the cup holder as possible. So that looks better already. I might work on it a little bit more. And I'll clean out the inside of the cup holder thoroughly with rubbing alcohol, try and get a good bond on these. There you can see flat versus curved. And so uh, next step, after I get three of these things curved, I'll uh, go ahead and clean the cup holder and stick them in there and we'll see how this works. Initially I installed three clips below this ridge. One here, one here, and one here. And they were so close together I couldn't get this bottle in there. Alright, so here's how the clips arrive and this is just too long to mount these above the ridge in the cup holder. So I'm trimming all the way up to the edge of the piece here off the bottom and all the excess off the top and rounding the corners slightly. Also the tape that comes with them says it's 3M tape but it does not stick very well. I happen to have some Gorilla double stick tape and it seems to adhere a lot better. So this is what we end up with. Let me go install it. Okay, so I initially tried to install three tabs per cup holder. One here and one in each of these locations below the ridge. And it turned out it's too snug, it's too tight, I can't fit anything in there. So I trimmed them, as I showed you a moment ago, and installed two on each side above the ridge. Also, the adhesive that came on these wasn't great, and I happen to have some Gorilla Glue brand black double-sided tape, so I put that on here. Okay, so I've got my clips installed, and I've had them in for a few days, and I absolutely love this. 
Uh, this is my water bottle I take everywhere with me, and it's so nice to be able to drive with both hands on the wheel instead of having to hold the bottle steady. And uh, it also eliminates all that rattling around, so it's nice and quiet now. Let me show you how this works out with some different containers. So here's my wife's water bottle. It's loose, but it's much better than it used to be. Twelve ounce can. It can move around some, but much improved. If you got a bottled drink, you may want to consider a cozy for that. That's pretty loose fit. And a 16 ounce soda is a pretty loose fit. They're much better than they used to be. You can see how much room there is here. Um, but they are still a little bit loose. Now here's a tapered cup. The tapered containers go in there nice and smooth and easy. Here's a big Tervis cup. That's a really great fit. And here's a big stadium cup. You do have to push down a bit, but it goes in there very well. Uh, my only concern with these, I have not tried them out with a paper cup or a styrofoam cup. And these little springs are really stiff, so they may damage a paper or a styrofoam cup. So this may not be for everybody, uh, but I really like the way these work, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. It would help me out. Thanks for watching. So uh, give it a try. They're very inexpensive. And again, I'll put the link to them in the description down below.